let's now to see which could be the effect of uh, introducing a taxation or a suicide on the uh, non-renewable resource. We'll do it in a pretty simple way. Uh, we will uh, define two kinds of uh, taxes on this slide on the royalties, that is on the net price, and in the next slide we'll see the same but on the gross uh, price. So here let's define alpha to be the, the ra tax rate over the, the net price. And uh, we are using again the notation where uh, smaller p is the, the net price. So what the resource owner will uh, will get after the tax is a simple one minus alpha uh, p uh, um, smaller p. So the hotel rule tell tell us that it is this post tax royalty that has to grow at the uh, interest rate and follow the, the hoteling rule because it is this one the return from owning the asset from the point of view of the resource owner. So we can rewrite the hoteling rules in terms of this new, uh, new uh, ro royalty. And uh, uh, the hoteling rule tell us that uh, this uh, uh, royalty, the, the discounted uh, value of uh, uh, this uh, royalty must uh, remain constant. Just because uh, I didn't do it before, so let's gonna be, be clear to, to the idea that we are calling this one uh, uh, discounted uh, uh, value that remain constant. So if we have here the, the, the value, and here we have time. We may have two values in time, so this is T1 and this is T2. And at time 1 we have value 1 and at time T2 we have, we have value 2. So uh, discounting means that um, if uh, the interest rate is i and uh, it happens that uh, v1 equal to uh, v2 uh, that multiply this term If happens that V1 is exactly equal to this one, a, a firm will be indifferent from, from having this amount of, of money at this time or this amount of money at time one because uh, whatever he put uh, uh, he own this amount of money, he can invest and uh, obtain an uh, interest rate uh, uh, I and hence go back at time two and having this amount of money and this is actualization. So V2 equal to V1 that multiply this term. So the value one at time one, it is the discounting uh, value of, uh, of time two, but the, when these, are, these two equations are true, the, uh, a company is, uh, 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 is indifferent of having only uh, one of the two, uh, being one of the two situations. And of course here you notice, to come back to our tax, tax you notice that we can drop it and uh, hence we go back to our original situation. That is, at the end, making a tax 
over the uh, royalty, over the net tax, uh, is neutral in terms of uh, what happens to, to our model. It would not change uh, anything. What it changes is that the government will collect some of the rent associated to uh, own his, uh, owning this uh, resource. And hence, it will make less convenience to look for uh, uh, for uh, new uh, deposits of of the resource so that when what we observe uh, often in the, in the reality is a situations where the price uh, so here is the price and here is is time of the natural resource grow then there are new discoveries and go down then it go then it go down then it go and go down and it depends of uh, if it's going in this way or uh, in this way it depends on how frequent are these uh, discoveries and the frequencies of this discovery is of course linked to the investment that companies put to um, to make the effort of uh, finding new discoveries and if the rent of the natural resource become less interesting le because of a taxations of course they will uh, invest less and so new discoveries will be uh, relatively less frequent than without a tax. Yeah. Let's see now the second uh, case of uh, taxations. That is when we set a taxation on the gross price. Uh, that is the company sell uh, the, the, the resource it obtains a gross price capital P and over this price uh, um, the, uh, the government or, uh, or the authority collect some, uh, some tax. Well, we say tax because we are, we are assuming that alpha is between uh, zero and uh, one, but we can well think about a, subs a subside if we uh, consider a, a negative value, a negative value of uh, alpha. Analytically, it doesn't change anything. So in absence of a, of, a, of a tax, we have that the net price given by capital P minus, uh, uh, minus uh, extraction cost C must follow the hotelling rules. With a price over the gross price, well, the hotelling rules the, the net price become uh, what you obtain out of the gross price after you pay the tax minus the uh, extraction cost. So we can rewrite the hotel rules here is uh, lower P in terms of, uh, of this uh, uh, of uh, alpha gross price and extraction cost. You can now divide uh, both sides by one minus alpha and you obtain the hotel rules as given in these equations. Well, now you may notice that one minus alpha is, uh, we, we, in case of a taxation, is between uh, uh, zero and one. So these terms here, the, the, this extraction cost, become bigger than before. So if we didn't have the tax, we had only trans, uh, transaction extraction cost equal to C. But now these, extra, these terms that we are removing from the gross price is higher. So it is like we are uh, having an increase in transaction uh, in extraction cost. And uh, we already saw this case, but uh, we already discussed it, but an increase in uh, extraction cost is in imply an increase in the initial gross price, but then this gross price that grow as a slower rate as before, and uh, the stock of the resource is extracted, uh, um, it, it go over for a longer, longer period. Up to now, we saw our models in a deterministic fashion without ever even speaking about risk and uncertainty. Well, we know that uh, on the exploitation of a non-renewable resource, risk and uncertainty are extremely important. We see here some on the slides for some example, extraction cost, the nature and availability of the resource and the possibility 
and the successfully uh, the successful uh, uh, of uh, um, the effort to find the new uh, new resources are extremely risky factors. So uh, the whole uh, framework should be set in uh, uh, risk and uncertainty uh, dimensions. Well, we'll speak about uh, risk and uncertainty across this course only in this slide. Well, the full uh, um, treatment of the of the issues go behind the scope of this course. Uh, still. We are going now to uh, examine a very, very simple model that, although it is very simple, still give us the intuition on one uh, fundamental fact about, uh, about uh, risk. I'm not going to burn the, uh, the output. Uh, let's go to see the models and see the the, the, this factor I, I was referring to. So let's assume that in this model uh, that there is one owner of natural resource that wants to maximize the net present value of profit coming from uh, exploitation of the resource across two periods. And there is a probability phi that in the second period that there is of the extraction program, there is a disaster, so the profit is equal to zero. Well, we know that uh, by total expectation theorem, we can uh, expand uh, an expectations by summing up through all the possible outcomes and multiplying by the probability of the outcome. So the expected profit that we want to maximize will be the conditional expected, uh, the sum of the for each given outcome of the conditional expected profit, conditional to that specific outcome, outcome multiplied by the probability of the outcome. So our uh, uh, maximization uh, problem become to maximize the profit at time zero, that is certain, plus the expected profit at time one, where the first outcome is uh, that uh, a disaster happens, and so the associated expected profit is zero, plus the probability that this doesn't happen multiplied by the conditional expected profit discounted by uh, the term one plus i, where this is the formulation of discounting in uh, uh, discrete time. So obviously we can cancel this one and we obtain this formulation here. But the key point here is that we can rewrite these terms as this uh, one where we have uh, the, where the, the profit at time one is discounted uses, using this new I comma uh, uh, discount rate. And we can do that when we set one over one plus I comma equal to our original terms, one minus phi over one plus our original I. Well, we can rewrite this one in this term and then expand, uh, make the product and make some cancellation. We end up with, with this equation here. Well, when you consider that phi being a probability is constrained to be between zero and one, and when the um, discount rates are, are, are positive, so this is positive, this is positive, so the difference here is positive, and we end up that our new discount rate is higher than the original one. So that considering risk here is equivalent to discount our future profit, but discount it at an interest rate that is higher than below. So 
the effect will be the one that we saw uh, in the in the um, in the in the slides before uh, that the resource must ride more rapidly and the deplet depletion is accelerated. But aside of that, why the the the, the key fact is that the risk is equivalent to an increase of the interest rate. What is this one? Because when we have risk, uh, our preference for the future change. We are more, uh, uh, of course, being a, a risk on the future, our preference for the present will increase. And so, because the preference for the, the present are, are uh, um, are somehow uh, given by the interest rate, our interest rate also will, uh, will, will increase. We need uh, to get more in the future to be deemed equal to something today. And uh, this is true everywhere in, in economy. When you want to make an investment, more this investment is risky more you will want a higher interest rate to compensate for this higher risk. For example, if you invest in uh, government bonds of uh, Italy or of Greece, you will do that only if who offer you the investment is willing to offer you a higher interest rate than uh, someone, uh, a government that uh, is deemed to be more solid and uh, has a lower risk, like a bond, for example, a German bonds. So this uh, link between uh, uh, risk and interest rate that here we saw in a very simple uh, two-period model is uh, a fundamental fact of any kind of uh, investment and in particular an investment in non-renewable resource.